This is a presentation of the 2019 benchmarking report on Com international business education at community colleges. The IBEX benchmarking report has been done by Michigan State University's Center for International Business Education and Research since 2008. Cyber is funded by the U.S. Department of Education, and this benchmarking report is also a collaboration with Community Colleges for International Development, CCID, and the National Association for Community College Entrepreneurship, NACI. The report itself is 16 pages and can be downloaded at ibc.msu.edu uh, freely in PDF format. And we're going to take a look at uh, some of the 2019 data and the story that came out of this year's report. So specifically, we're going to look at expectations to internationalize current internationalizations or internationalizing at community colleges, the International Business Education Index or IBEX, an index that we have created to, in essence, uh, see what community colleges are doing and how they're doing in internationalizing their business programs. Now we have a tag team index to go with that called International Education Index, IEX, to see what's going on on the campus at large at community colleges. And then we do some comparisons of IBEX and IEX, as well as look at the different U.S. states, the 50 states that we have in the United States, how they're doing. Uh, and we take a little closer look at the states in our ranking or summative ranking of the IBEX scores from 2012 to 2019. Basically, the time period after we came out of the most recent uh, pretty severe economic downturn. And we look at international business knowledge among students and faculty and other groups. Uh, as well as what is being taught in community colleges when it comes to international business courses, such as international business as a survey course, of course, international marketing, international finance, and so on. And what are the most popular internationally focused textbooks in the two core fields of international being taught at community colleges? And those two fields are international business as a survey course and international marketing. And we'll showcase that a little bit later on. As well as entrepreneurship is always important. Entrepreneurship is uh, expanding on two and four year college campuses. And that's an important feature for uh, workforce development at community colleges. And then a little bit of a wrap up of who we are at Michigan State University. So expectations to internationalize, figuring out where a community college has been, where it is, and where it's planning to go in terms of internationalizing its programs represent a way to outline a strategic path toward targeted goals. As an overall gauge, we have senior administrators at community colleges, and these are presidents, vice presidents of academic affairs, and senior international officers about internationalization efforts on their campuses. Uh, we always use a scale from 0 to 100%, uh, and with 100%, of course, representing a community college with all of its programs fully internationalized. And we think, uh, as a federally funded cyber for policy purposes, we suggest that a targeted goal of internationalizing 25% of community college program by the year 2029, roughly 10 years from now, then is preferred to maintain the international competitiveness of the U.S. workforce. The 2019 benchmark... Uh, then shows an increase in internationalization and the optimism uh, on community college campuses uh, in what they do in terms of programming. And we can see back to 2009 when this particular question and data were taken, 4.5% of community colleges were internationalized, 3.8%, uh, a little bit of a drop to 2011, and then it goes up to 7.1, 9.8. And we're currently at 11.2% of the community college being internationalized, maybe almost a tripling since we started collecting this data with the projection being to about 24% in 2029 if we continue this path, uh, which is very close to the 25% that we hope to achieve by that particular point in time. So if we talk about current internationalizing, a little bit of background, the international courses can exist in almost any program, of course, at the nation, some 1,132 community colleges. We asked questions related to internationalized business courses and internationalized non-business courses, such as international studies and area studies. In 2019, we find that community colleges enrolled on average 44 students in the basic international business course. Um, used in data below, and you can see the graph, uh, we can surmise that there are 30,000, a little bit over 30,000 students taking the basic uh, core course in international business at some 702 of the 1132 community colleges nationwide. 
uh, extrapolate a little bit. Uh, there's also an upward trend of community colleges offering the IB course, which is great. Just as a background of who we have in the data set, we have business faculty and administrators related to business. Uh, at community colleges, uh, they answered questions regarding international business courses being taught and a whole host of other questions, as you're going to notice throughout this report. We got 348 community colleges responding this year, and that's roughly what we get uh, on an annual or biannual uh, basis when we do this particular benchmarking. And we'll show this data a little bit later on, too. The sampling frame then again included business faculty and business administrators for this particular portion of the survey. We also do a senior administrator survey at community colleges. They answered questions pertaining to non-business international courses and a few other questions related to internationalization on community college campuses. This year we got 100 community colleges res that responded to that partic or those particular questions. And again, the sampling frame includes presidents, vice presidents of academic affairs and senior international officers on community college campuses. If we take a look at the IBEX, which is the core portion of this report and what people generally look at from 2008 to now, the International Business Education Index, or IBEX for short, measures the degree to which community colleges emphasize internationalization of business education in their curricula and educational activities, and again, it has been assessed since 2008. Based on all the data we have for all these different years, we've come up with sort of a classification system as well. A score of 0.7 to 1.0 indicates that a community college is highly active in internationalizing. 0.6 to 0.69 we classify as active and 0.3 to 0.59 indicate less activity or a lower activity. Uh, with a score of uh, short of 0.3 being uh, sporadic uh, if perhaps at all internationalized. Broadly, the global economic downturn then that I mentioned in 2008-9 put a damper on internationalization of community cultures. But since that time, the IBEX scores have been consistently in the upper level of active overall average, that is, since 2012, albeit with a slight dip in 2019, as you can see in this chart. Uh, a little bit more background. To create IBEX, we include what we call five pillars pertaining to internationalization of business education at community colleges. These include funding, organizational infrastructure, program offerings, of course, investment in faculty, and strategic committed, commitment on the part of administrators to these type of programs. Uh, and we can look at this. We've collected data seven years since 2008, so 2008, 9, 10, 12, 14, 16, and now 2019. As you notice, there's not a lot of movement, a little bit of movement in the last several iterations of collecting the data, which is one of the reasons we also start collecting the data a little bit less than annually as we did in the first three years. But those annual years were tremendously important for establishing a benchmark, a sort of platform foundation. And they also happened during economic downturn years coming out of those years and 2012 and on, of course, we're stabilizing this a little bit more. The IEX is the counterpart to the IBEX, but it covers the whole campus. The International Education Index, or IEX, measures the degree to which community colleges emphasize internationalization of education in their curricula and educational activities. This one has been assessed since 2014 with, when we started thinking it was a valuable sort of counterpart to figure out what's going on on campuses at large relative to the business programs. Are business programs better or worse or what's going on basically? Same uh, framing here, uh, score of 0.7 to 1.0 indicates that a community college is highly active, uh, 0.6 to 0.69, uh, we're again classifying as active, 0.3 to 0.59, less active, and 0.3 is a little bit more struggling or sporadic on the internationalization schema. Uh, that said, though, it's going to be harder to internationalize the whole campus than a specific program like business because you can do a few things in a particular program and have it internationalized. Uh, campus has a lot of different tangents to it, and some are simply not going to ever be internationalized because that's not the focus. So we're not trying to say that business is better or worse or indifferent here. We're simply trying to do a comparison on uh, a periodic basis like we do for the IBEX score. Again, the benchmarking data uh, for the IEX involves senior administrators. So again, the presidents, vice presidents, that 
of academic affairs and senior international officers. We use the same five pillar of funding, organizational infrastructure, investment in faculty, program offerings again, of course, that's a core one, and strategic commitment. Notice that the IBIC score is 0.65. So they're getting to be pretty close to each other, which is an elevation for the IEX, which was lower um, in previous cycles. We can take a look at that comparison on this particular chart. Uh, if we look at uh, the chart uh, or the table first, we're going to notice that we have 2014, 16, and 19 for both IBEX and IEX. And very quickly, the comparison shows that IEX was significantly lower in 2014 and 16 as compared with the IBEX scores. In 2019, uh, it's still lower, but it, they're, they're getting uh, much closer to each other. Um, so if we go broadly and talk about the internationalization, uh, we can say that some community colleges obviously score below 0.3 on both IBEX and IAX, uh, but on the IBEX score, none of the 50 states, when we average all the schools in a state, and uh, admittedly some are large states, some are smaller states, uh, none of the schools fall below or none of the states fall below 0.3. Uh, and just as a comparison, we have 28 community colleges in Michigan, the, but only 24 of them have ever been or probably ever would want to be in, engaged in some degree of internationalization. And that's going to uh, sort of subdue a little bit the averages that can come out of Michigan and the other big states. Uh, California has a tremendous number of, for example, community colleges, some are awesome at internationalizing. Some have not taken on that as a strategic initiative. Overall, the Northwest region of the country was again found to provide the most internationalized business education. They had an average IBEX score of 0.71. Northwest region has actually been the apex in community college internationalization since 2014, if we look at all the scores. And all of these reports, the old ones are available at uh, ibc.msu.edu as well, if you wanna do some comparisons. Uh, and then we can look at the IEX, which uh, thankfully and uh, very positively is moving upwards as well. We don't do a ranking by a year or every time we do one of these reports, but we do classify the different states into highly active, active and less active, as I alluded to by none of the states being below 0.3. And I'm not going to read off all of these states, but you can see in the report that uh, about... A chunk of them are in highly active, another chunk in active, and uh, thankfully a, f a, f a shorter or smaller number are in the less active portion of it. This year, though, in particular, we did rank the states, and this is the first time we've ranked the states in several years now. But we did it in such a way that we took all the data from 2012 to 2019 into account and called that a summative IBEX ranking for or rankings for 2012 to 2019. So again, we began to collect IBEX data in 2008, uh, uh, and then we collected in 2009, 10, 12, 2014, 16, and 19. And since 2012, community colleges have made great strides in internationalization as a strategic focus, we think, in the post-2008-2009 recession area. And the table that you see here in kind of a stoplight fashion of green, yellow, and red provides then a summative IBEX rank of all U.S. states using data combined from 2012 to 2019. So we got 2012, 2014, 16, and 19. Uh, and then just to tease out some anomalies, anomalies and the missing data and significant outliers perhaps, uh, we took those into account in the analysis to have as reliable and stable valid findings as possible. Uh, we used the same general setup, a score of 0.7 to 1.0 indicates a community college is highly active in, in internationalizing their business programs, 0.6 to 69. Classified again as active, 0.3 to 0.59 indicates less active, but less than 0.3 representing again only sporadic, if at all, involvement in internationalizing business education. Uh, the range among states is broad. South Dakota, which is a smaller state compared with, say, California and Michigan and the likes, averages 0.85 for this time period, or these four different time periods, while Alaska averages 0.3. So Rhode Island, Tennessee, and Alaska. Uh, perhaps have a little bit of work to do. Uh, 
and uh, the green states obviously have done some good, taken some great strides towards internationalizing their their community college program in terms of their business programs at least what you're going to find though is that many of the big states like my home state of michigan is going to fall in the yellow portion because again there's so many community colleges in these states that everybody can't internationalize at the strong level. So some of the smaller states have a better chance to do so or the states with a fewer community colleges. So that explains some of the rankings as well. Now, international business knowledge. This is a measure that we use both for calibration validation reasons because we ask everybody about people in the country and those scores should be largely similar across the regions and other ways so that's a way to calibrate our data but it's also a unique and, and fascinating way to look at students faculty administrators at community colleges local communities around community colleges and then people in country at large to see where we are on a one to ten scale with ten being great expertise to one of course no international knowledge at all uh, so we use from one no awareness to 10 the great expertise and we then get averages for each of these groups and clearly we have some work to do if we talk about faculty community or students faculty administrators local communities people in the country uh, 10 being the best and the scores this time around range from 2.96 to 4.14 we have some legwork to do perhaps in all of these groups uh, but as a comparison uh, unfortunately we, we can also see that there's a little bit of a downturn in uh, what's going on with the knowledge and in internationalization and business in particular ideally we would like to think from a policy standpoint that a score of seven should be what uh, we're targeting for the next few years in terms of what is being taught, I already highlighted that international business as a survey course and international marketing as a functional specific course. Those are the two that are the most widely taught on community college campuses. And that has held true since we started in 2008. This is a question, like many questions, we don't ask every question every time. We ask all the IBEX indicators. There are 15 of the those uh, indicators as well as survey questions that go into making up that IBEX index and the IEX as well. Uh, we ask those questions every time. Some of the other questions we ask sometimes and in 2008, 12, 14, 16 and 19 we asked the course questions almost every year. We skipped 2009 and 10 uh, but we get a good, a pretty good trend analysis and what we see is that international business and international marketing are clearly the most widely being taught in international business, the overwhelming one if a community college teaches anything international and a business related field. 59% teach it right now. So if we take the 1132 community colleges and then we extrapolate a little bit, uh, we get a pretty large uh, percentage or percentage, but also a large number of community college teaching that particular course. And we'll talk more about that in a few minutes. International marketing is the second most popular course and there has been international management and international economics have moved up a little bit. So we see a little bit of upward trend for those two courses. Uh, we see a little bit downward trend for some others, but coming out of the last few years, uh, different supply chain courses, international logistics, international sourcing, those have also become a little bit more prominent in the workforce development mentality that community colleges signify. Ideally, from a policy standpoint, we would like to see the 59% of community colleges teaching international business moved up to about 90% teaching it in 2029 or by 2029. That's a lofty goal since we've uh, been pretty far away from that other than in 2012, uh, which in some way is an anomaly in the data because the data, as you noticed, compared with the other four years on this in this table, uh, those numbers from 2012 are either optimistic or a little bit high. Most popular international oriented business courses offered by community colleges are international business, which is offered by 59% or 668 of the community colleges as extrapolated in international marketing, which is offered by 24% or roughly 272 community colleges of the 1132 that exist in the country if extrapolate that as well. Uh, the remaining international oriented business courses taught are offered by five to 14% of the community colleges as we saw on the previous page. 
so if we look at international business, at least uh, 7% of the co colleges, as well as international marketing, used one of the seven identified books uh, below. We have Global Business Today by Charles Hill and myself, actually, Thomas Holt. So a little bit self-serving, but it is what it is. International Business, our bigger book, which is mostly used by four-year schools, are also used, is also used by some two-year schools. So those two books are by far the top two books used in international business at community colleges. And then we have International Business by Wild and Wild and Global Business by Mike Ping. None of the other, there are about 23 books in the market right now. None of the other 19 or so books in international business got a lot of play at community colleges. They do at four-year schools and other places, but not at community colleges that much. In international marketing, Katora S at four-year schools, Katora, Graham, Gilly, and Money Now. Uh, Katora, of course, started that franchise uh, uh, way back when, but that's also at f two and four year community colleges, the most widely used textbook at this particular point in time. Keegan and Green is the second, and Sincoda and Ronkainen is the third in international marketing. Now, interestingly, 38% of the respondents also said that they did not use a textbook for in the international business course. And the corresponding number was much higher for international marketing at 63% that did not use a textbook. So there are options here, but these were the seven most popular textbooks for international business and international marketing. And then we spin over to entrepreneurship, uh, which is a little bit off the path of internationalization, but it is a hugely uh, workforce development oriented topic for both two and four year schools, and in particular uh, two year schools that and drive entrepreneurship out of their business programs and across campus. Uh, we have included this particular set of questions uh, a couple of times. Now, entrepreneurship has become a cross-campus phenomenon at many community colleges in the last decade, and not just in business schools. So for example, closer to home here, Lansing Community College is a large sized community college in our area of Lansing, Michigan. They offer entrepreneurship programs and activities to students across campus from any major. And you can see more if you go to that URL that I'm uh, spelling out there at internal.lcc.edu slash entrepreneurship. Uh, but many community colleges do very similar thing to what LCC is doing. Uh, in this particular case, we assessed uh, two entrepreneurship issues, the existence of an entrepreneurship program and second, the top level commitment of the community college to entrepreneurship. Uh, we also include a commitment to business and international business, of course, for comparisons. In the last three years, since we did the last year report, business-focused entrepreneurship programs have increased from being offered at 22% of community colleges then three years ago in 2016 to being offered at now 40% of community colleges in 2019. And we can extrapolate that, suggest that the 453 community colleges of the 1132 community colleges that exist in the country now offer entrepreneurship programs. That's tremendously impactful and has potential to develop a lot of entrepreneurs and uh, creative spirits among business and non-business programs at community colleges and the students that, of course, engage in these programs. Likewise, there's been an uptick from 12% to 20% of community colleges offering entrepreneurship programs in at least one non-business unit on campus as well. And that's encouraging because, of course, we see entrepreneurs across lots of different fields, not just in business. Uh, so the community college surroundings page in our uh, benchmarking report just captures a glimpse of the type of schools and what they do at a more general level. So we look at courses with an international focus, budget spent on the international program, students transferring to four-year schools, which is a key aspect of community colleges for many community colleges, not all, since workforce development is uh, tremendously important and what we do in two years should create some skills and knowledge that could be useful uh, to maintain our international competitiveness as a country and the communities that these community colleges uh, reside in. Uh, and if we talk about those communities, we also look at global engaged companies in the region that the community college is in. So for all, all courses on the campus, 15% are internationalized, 10% of the business courses, all programs, 4% of them are internationalized or budget being spent on international programs, I should say. 4% of the budget is spent on international programs for all programs, a little bit higher in business programs. So fewer cor courses being taught, 
if on a percentage basis, but we spend a little bit more budget effort on internationalizing those courses. Transferring to four-year schools is about equal of business and non-business students, uh, rounding upwards a little bit to 40% roughly transfer to four-year schools from the sampling we have. Uh, community colleges have 2% of their student body being foreign students. Uh, another sort of demographic factor is that the, the average number of business courses at the programs we look at have been 29 in the last cycle, and that's roughly consistent over the years. Uh, you can extrapolate that and say that perhaps on average the 1,132 community colleges in the country need to offer about 29 business courses to be competitive in what they do. But again, like I said, with the community colleges in Michigan, we have 28 of them, 24 are focusing on international business a little bit and four are not and probably never will be so the number of 29 business courses on average uh, some community college of course don't have business programs at all so it's going to be zero so that number is an is a nice average to start with as a foundation 33 percent of the companies in the region of these community colleges are globally engaged so one third of the uh, companies in the region are globally engaged which then uh, the competitiveness of those companies and the region itself uh, really depend on community colleges and the students that come out of these schools from a workforce development standpoint uh, to make sure that they are globally engaged and globally competitive most importantly who are we uh, we are since 2008 i said uh, we've been doing this benchmarking report but michigan state university and its international business center has been funded by the u.s department of education again as a so-called cyber center for international business education and research since 1990. Uh, we've been a leader in offering programs to internationalize business education at community colleges since 1995 IBC then is designated and funded as a Center for International Business Education and Research. And we're only one of 15 universities in the country with this designation. We began the reporting and the annual data collection in 2008. And you can find all of the old uh, reports as well if you want to do a little bit of comparison. But as you notice, this particular 2019 report includes a lot of those comparison data points as well. We're also the developer of Global Edge. Uh, Global Edge is the Google ranked number one website in the world for international business resources with some 2 million active users. So check out Global Edge for all kinds of resources. We have a dedicated portion of Global Edge to community colleges and everything being taught or should be in, that should be taught at community colleges and resources to do so. And we're of course, like I said in the beginning, in an active strategic partnership for community colleges for international development and the National Association for Community College Entrepreneurship are both uh, partners in this benchmarking initiative. We also work very closely with the American Association of Community Colleges, AACC. Uh, Sarah Singer is a point person as assistant director for the Community College Programming. Bill Motts as professor at Lansing Community Colleges. He's a long-standing partner in the IBEX benchmarking and our community college activities. I'm Thomas Holt. I'm director of our International Business Center, and I have been since 2001, and I founded the IBEX in 2008. I'm Byington Endowed Chair and Professor of Marketing and International Business in the Eli Broad College of Business at Michigan State University. That is our report for 2019. We are Michigan State University, the International Business Center. Contact information is here. The report can be freely downloaded again at ibc.msu. Dot edu under our, in our publication section. We hope you like and enjoy the report and uh, get some use out of it for your community college and your particular, particular constituency groups, political and otherwise, and engage with those companies in your community that are globally focused.